Good morning, everyone. Good morning, North America. Good morning, Philippines. Wherever you are in the world, thank you for joining us tonight. I'm Myla Javier, Senior Customer Service Representative of Lifestyles North America. You know, since last month up to now is a Cardio Life Awareness Month. It is important, guys, to have knowledge and good understanding of the amazing benefits of Cardio Life and why we should take it every day. So tonight, it is special because we have an exclusive Cardio Life product training. So our featured speaker has over 25 years of experience in nutritional product development. He leads our lifestyles products, a product and research team, and he is a registered nutritional consultant a proud member of the Canadian Health Food Association and the American Botanical Council. Let's give a warm welcome to our senior vice president, Mr. Paul Kramer. Take it away, Paul. Hey, everybody. Paul Kramer here. Great to be with everybody tonight on the call. Very, very excited about our Cardio Life product training. All right, so let's get started here. And, all right, here we go, guys. Uh, great product training. Um, excited to be here. We're, we've got a really great topic today because Cardio Life in North America um, has been the feature product for the month. So we're excited about it. And it's a product that is our latest product, even though it's been, uh, you know, in the market for quite a while. It's our newest product. And it's so, so important to understand what this product is, what it can do for you, how it can help you, um, all of these different things that, um, you know, are, are just applicable to everybody. All right. So let's get started. We're going to talk about why we suffer from poor health. Let's look at the next slide. We've got some reasons here why people suffer from poor health, right? Obviously, we don't get the nutrients our body needs from our food alone. A lot of us don't make our own meals at home. We eat out at restaurants a lot. We're, we're really rushed. We're, we're, we're stressed out. It's hard to get the proper food that you need from your from a proper uh, nutrients that you need from your food alone, right? And then we consume too much of what the body doesn't need. And those are things like excess fats and, of course, excess calories and carbohydrates and all of those things. Um, air pollution affects a lot of us in Canada and the United States where we're exposed to a lot of air pollution, which really does wear the body down as well. In addition to that, of course, high stress levels is something that everybody, I mean, if I asked you, do you feel stress every day, raise your hand, everybody would have their hand up. And it's true because we're suffering from stress so much more than we have ever before. And actually, if you talk to doctors, they'll tell you the number one reason why people go to their doctor is because of something related to stress. Stress causes illness over time. It can actually cause disease. So we need to learn to manage our stress, but also we need to learn how to take, um, you know, the right supplements so that our body has a better defense against stress. And then of course, lack of regular exercise. And this is so important, especially when you're talking about cardio life, because you're talking about the heart and the cardiovascular system. So let's take a look at the next slide. We're going to talk about health span versus um, lifespan. And it's true that people have been living longer and longer, but are they living better longer? In other words, is it just medicine and advanced surgery that's keeping people alive? Or are they really living their best possible life? And your best possible life is called your health span, not your lifespan, your health span. So how long in your life are you healthy free of disease not taking medication you can move your body you can think clearly do all the things you want to do that's called your health span and at lifestyles our mission our goal is to make your health span as long as possible of course we want you to live longer but we really want you to be healthier longer that's the most important part so today's topic is cardio life so next slide we're going to talk about this because the, the number one cause of death in the world, no matter where you live, Canada, the U.S., Philippines, doesn't matter where you live, the number one cause of death in the world today amongst men and women both is heart disease. And this is why 
cardio life is so, so important. By the way, the second leading cause of death is cancer. Third leading cause of death is what are called metabolic diseases, including things like diabetes and related conditions, okay? So our topic today, though, is cardio life. Let's take a look at the ingredients that are in the product. We've got vitamin K2, which again, I can promise you, you're not getting enough vitamin K2 in your food alone. This vitamin has um, been all over the news lately because it's so important for heart health, also important for women, uh, in particular for bone strength. And we're gonna explain how that works in a second. Second ingredient is hawthorn extract, the plant extract. And once again, I guarantee you, you're not getting hawthorn in your food unless you're actually eating hawthorn berries. But we've got a great hawthorn extract right in CardioLife. Cocoa powder, beet powder, cayenne pepper, and the vitamins and minerals you see here, magnesium, folic acid, vitamin B6, and the super energy vitamin, vitamin B12, are all featured in CardioLife. Those are the ingredients that when you take them in your body every day, it's gonna help support heart health, all right? So let's take a look at how does it do this? This is really the great question. So you see, we've got a picture of a very rudimentary uh, cardiovascular system. And of course, here's your heart. You can feel it beating. It beats 100,000 times each and every day. So think about that. 100,000 times every single 24 hour period, your heart is beating. What is the job of your heart? It's to pump the blood through your body. The blood comes back. So, so the way it works is your heart beats and the blood goes through your arteries. And you can see in this illustration here, the arteries are in red. The arteries take the blood from your heart and, and circulate it through your entire body. Basically from the tip of your toes to the top of your head, that's where the arteries bring the blood to. Then you see the veins in blue. And the vein's job is to gather up the blood and bring it back to the heart so it can be pumped through again. And this, of course, is a system called the circulatory system. It just keeps going around. But it all depends on your heart beating. And this is important because you want to take steps to make sure that your heart doesn't have to work too hard, okay? Because the, more, the harder you make your heart work, the shorter it will last. Conversely, the easier you make it on your heart, the longer your lifespan will be. So let's take a look at these arteries in more detail, okay? And this is really, really what it comes down to for a lot of us. You see at the top here, we have a normal healthy artery and it's clear all the way through. So when your heart beats, the blood can go flying through that artery, no problem whatsoever right? It's like, it's just like so easy. The blood gets through, no problem. Your heart's beating, blood's getting through the arteries. But as you get older, from the age of the teenage years, the late teenage years, the arteries start to get blocked, okay? And you can see at the bottom here, you have an artery that has a much smaller gap. And that gap is smaller because plaque builds up in your arteries. And we're going to tell you plaque is something that builds and builds and builds in your arteries and makes the area smaller and smaller, which makes it harder for your heart to pump the blood through. That's basically one of the major causes of heart attacks, strokes, aneurysms, all these things where the arteries become too small. And the plaque is something that's made up of two ingredients. Number one, well, more than two, but two main ones. Number one, calcium. Number two, cholesterol. Okay, so those are the two major things that block your arteries. Now, when you look at what CardioLife does, CardioLife helps remove the calcium from your arteries. Okay, so it takes the calcium that's in your food and in your body, removes it from your arteries and puts it in your bones where it's supposed to be. Okay, so calcium should be in your bones, not in your arteries. And one of the main benefits, additional benefits for women with cardio life is that you're also strengthening your bones because um, a lot of women, especially if you've had children, as you get older, your bones get weaker and you have what's called osteoporosis, 
which is a leading cause of death amongst the elderly because people fall down, they break their hip, they break their arm, they end up in the hospital, and it doesn't go good from there, right? So, of course, you never want to end up in the hospital. Our mission is to keep you out of the doctor's office and keep you out of the hospital, right? But cardio life, the vitamin K2, will take the calcium out of the artery, okay? Now, <clears throat> the other ingredient in this plaque is called cholesterol. And even though we're not talking about fiber life today, I do want to tell you that fiber life's job is to remove the, cholest the cholesterol from the arteries and from your body. So when you're using both CardioLife and Fiber Life, you've got a great one-two punch, a great combination to get rid of the calcium, get rid of the cholesterol, and, and get rid of the plaque so that the arteries can open back up again. And it's, I can't tell you how important this is because as we know, the number one cause of death in the world amongst men and women is heart disease. The number one cause of that is really this blocked artery. And that's the problem. Um, a lot of people, you know, if you wait too long and, and your arteries are being blocked, you can very easily have a heart attack. If, you, if you're lucky enough to survive the heart attack, then they have to typically remove that blockage. It's called bypass surgery, remove the blockage to, to get your arteries clear again. But we can take steps, right? You can take steps right now to get rid of that plaque. Exercise is very important. Keep your stress down. Use cardio life to keep your arteries soft and pliable so that they can open and stay open and that your so that the blood can flow through your arteries. Now, this is a really important concept in, in lifestyles. And, you know, like I said, we want to keep you out of your doctor's office. We want to keep you out of the hospital. And we want to practice something called prevention, not prescription. So before you need to take drugs or before you need surgery that requires drugs, prevention means doing something today that's going to help you five years, 10 years, 20 years down the road, right? So even if you think, oh, I'm not old enough to have a heart attack or you know, whatever, I'm young, that's exactly the best time to start. Don't wait until you have the heart attack. Don't wait until you have chest pain and you go into your doctor and he or she says that you need a bypass or you need a stent or something to open up your arteries, right? Start right now. Start right now with cardio life to help your cardiovascular system stay healthy, keep your bones strong, and this is practicing the ultimate in prevention. I'm doing things today that are going to help me five years, 10 years, 30 years, 50 years down the road, right? That's really what it comes down to because I can tell you prescriptions are more expensive than our products, right? You don't want to end up in the hospital. You don't want to end up in your doctor's office, you know, for bad news. It's all about doing those things that you can do today. And cardio life is such an important thing because in addition to keeping your heart healthy, it also helps keep your brain healthy because the main fuel supply of your brain is blood sugar, which must come in your blood. So you want great blood circulation into your head so that your brain can get all the nutrition it needs so that it can think properly. And it's been shown that people who have heart problems also have memory problems. Usually those two things come together. So blood flow to the brain is really, really important. All right, so then let's take a look at the next slide. We've got these two things that we talked about, cardio life and fiber life, but it's true. It really is true that intra and nutria plus cardio life and fiber life really do work better together. The ingredients that we have in cardio life, the, the vitamins, the magnesium, you know, the B6, the B12, all of those things really, really work great. And the other thing I do want to tell you is, you know, when you drink intra or when you take Nutria Plus, like how does how do those uh, ingredients get to your body, get to your cells, right? Well, they get there in your blood, right? So when you eat food, it goes through your digestive system and gets broken down into very small particles, which end up in your blood, which your heart has to pump all through your body. 
So in order to benefit from all of the products, to get the best of what Intra can give you, right? To get the best of what Nutria Plus can give you, you need to have a healthy heart so that your so that your heart can pump the blood through with all those amazing nutrients because everything you eat good and everything you eat bad ends up in your blood and that's what your cells of, of your body use for food so that's where when we say better together we really mean all the products work better together to give you optimal health so if you want intra to work as good as it can you need good blood circulation cardio life can help you with that fiber life can help you with that all of these things remember when i said the number two cause of death in the world is cancer well we we like to take nutria plus to help keep ourselves healthy again prevention not cure we do not cure disease we have people practice prevention so that they don't need a prescription later on so better together is as people know our theme but it's not it's not it's not just two words it's really a concept of these products working synergistically in harmony with each other okay so that's it with cardio life now there's one thing i do want to say in addition is that cardio life takes time to work and by all estimation it takes between two and three months to start feeling the benefits of cardio life so it's really really important not to you know assume that your heart's going to be working better <laughs> excuse me the first day right it's not going to work that way it takes a little bit of time but the most important thing is consistency and that's with all of our products the most important thing is to be consistent to take them each day but give cardio life two to three months to really really be effective because what we know about the ingredients vitamin k2 hawthorne they take a little bit of time to get the arteries soft to widen and open up the arteries to help your blood flow better so give it a little bit of time don't expect you know a miracle uh, overnight right all right so i think that's some really good information to get you started basically you know the story is that cardio life is going to help your blood flow which is going to help your brain it's going to help your heart all of those things that are really really important now we have some questions here which came up so uh just bear with me here Milo's Milo's our fantastic um host tonight and um we are going to answer a few questions so I want to make sure I get these right let me get my glasses on here all right first question is from ED6QL Jocelyn Domingo in Modesto, California, beautiful place. All right, so Jocelyn wants to know, are there some people who have certain diseases or who take certain prescription medicine who should not take CardioLife? Okay, so the thing about this is that um, only if you're taking blood thinners is the only thing you really need to be sort of concerned about when it comes to prescription medication with CardioLife. If you are taking blood thinners, then you do not take more than the recommended amount on the label. Do not take more CardioLife, okay? Your body's not gonna need it. And the vitamin K2, if you take it in really, really high doses, could cause a problem with the blood thinners. It could um, you know, work against the blood thinners. So just stay with the recommendation on the label. Now, is CardioLife um, safe to take for somebody who has a heart enlargement? I would recommend talking to your doctor first. However, you always want to have blood, better blood circulation. And when your heart's enlarged, it means that it, it is working a lot. It's under a lot of stress, that type of thing. So ideally, yes, the product would be helpful, but you want to talk to your doctor first. This is obviously very good advice for anybody who's got a very serious medical condition or is on, you know, um, numerous prescription medications, you always want to talk to your doctor about taking any sort of supplement or starting any sort of exercise program. It just makes sense to do, right? All right, GMD Loveland Domingo in Bay Point, uh, California. Can cardio light be taken for somebody who had recent heart procedure or heart surgery? How many can they take? And she's asking about her 13-year-old son, it says here. So, um, somebody who's 13 should really just stick to the label recommendation, which is two a day, which is a great amount 
Um, if somebody is um, in their late teens, like 18, 19, they can then go up to three cardio life if they wanted to. But I think for your 13 year old, um, especially with, you know, um, history of some sort of heart issue, two cardio life would be extremely um, useful and it should not pose any problem whatsoever, but just stick to that level of two. Okay, now we have a question from Raquel Kern. Let me just make sure I have this right. Um, okay, yeah, Raquel, E.D. Raquel Kern from Kuma, H-O-U-M-A, Louisiana. Wow, awesome. Louisiana, USA. Hi, Raquel, great to hear from you. Uh, great question too. Can a diabetic person take intraliquid instead of intercapsules? Uh, the answer to that, Raquel, is yes, they can. But what I would suggest is that they take the intraliquid directly after a meal, not on an empty stomach. And however much, um, you know, the, the total dosage of intra they're taking, whether it's, you know, three ounces or two ounces, whatever, split that evenly over your three meals, okay? If you eat three meals a day, if you eat two meals a day, to, you know, split it over two meals. But always um, have intraliquid with food if you're a diabetic who's on medication or taking insulin because that way it will slow down any sugar. There's not a lot of sugar in intra uh, anyway because you're only drinking a, a one ounce, uh, one jigger serving at a time typically, even if you took two or three, it's not a lot of sugar, but take it during your meal, okay? So Raquel has another question here. Um, she's talking about somebody who's got um, diabetes, they're taking metformin, which is a diabetes drug, and a bunch of other things. I, I can't tell you how important fiber life is for anybody who's diabetic. Fiber in general, um, soluble fiber, like the type of fiber in fiber life, is so, so important for anybody with high blood sugar, diabetes, um, anything of that nature. It's really, really important to keep your blood sugar level down. And the way you do that is you take soluble fiber and you drink water because soluble fiber absorbs water. And then that's going to help keep your blood sugar down, slow the release of sugar into your blood. You know, I talk about this all the time. Diabetes and, and related metabolic diseases are, are the you know third, some people might say the fourth leading cause of death in the world. Really, really important to get your fiber up. Take fiber like with every meal with water, and that's going to help you in that situation. Um, what age is best to begin taking cardio life? Uh, Raquel's third question. Late teen, uh, sorry, early to late teens to take cardio life. Um, like, like early teens, like uh, Loveland's son can take uh, two capsules. When you get into the later teenage years, if you want, you can take three. In Canada and the US, three is the number that all of the clinical studies on vitamin K2, it's 180 micrograms a day. So you need three um, in North America to hit that number. That's really, really important. And you can do that as you get into your later 18, 19, that type of thing. No problem. Very, very safe product. And you know, also a lot of kids who are young like that, um, teenagers that are into sports and athletics, cardio life will really help them because it's going to really, really help um, your cardiovascular system when you're running or, you know, playing your sports and things like that. It's really, really good. Okay. Um, IMD Incarnacion Go from Michigan. All right, Incarnacion. Um, great to... Um, Great to hear from you. Let me see, uh, blood thinners. I talked about blood thinners. So you only stick to two maximum if you're on blood thinners of cardio life. Um, and of course, always talk to your doctor because vitamin K2, you can't take high amounts. You wanna stay low. Um, if somebody has arterial fib fibrillation, is it okay to take cardio life? And is it okay to take calcium supplements with cardio life? Um, okay, let's answer the first question. Arterial fibrillation, yes, cardio life is not going to cause any problems. It's going to help the arteries and help the blood flow. So it's going to be um, healthy for the heart no matter what. It should not be an issue. And can you take calcium with cardio life? Yes, I think it's a great idea. If you are taking calcium, take it with cardio life because. The, the cardio life, the vitamin K2 is going to help get the calcium to where it's supposed to go. 
And calcium is supposed to go in the bones, remember, not in the arteries, in the bones. So vitamin K2 will really, really help get that calcium to where it's supposed to go. I love that question. Um, that's a great question. If you are taking Cardiolite or if you're drinking, uh, consuming a lot of dairy products like yogurt, and cheese, and milk, or these types of things that are high in calcium, Cardiolite is such a great product, especially for women, but also for guys, because guys, we need to keep, you know, um, strong bones and, and, and everything else so that we don't run into problems as we get older, right? So that's uh, a great question, and it really is a, uh, a benefit to take the uh, Cardiolite with anything with calcium. All right, so those are your questions. Uh, great questions, guys. Thank you so much. Really appreciate it. Great to be on the call with everybody tonight. Um, tell us how you like the training. Tell us if you want more information or if the amount of information was just right. Give us your thoughts to Myla and Jason. Um, just, you know, uh, any other topics you want me to talk about at any point in time, we can uh, arrange more of these special trainings. Just let Myla, Jason, uh, and the team know. And uh, great to be with everybody tonight. And I hope you have a wonderful, wonderful evening or day, wherever you may be. Don't forget to take your cardio life and all your lifestyles products every single day. They are designed to work better together and to keep you healthy and keep you happy for your whole life. So without any further ado, let's send it back over to our lovely host of the evening, Myla. Take it away, Myla. Okay, thank you so much, Paul. This is another great learning experience by the best in the industry. We hope everyone learned more about our amazing Cardio Life today. So again, it's a Cardio Life Awareness Month. Order yours today to take back control of a healthier lifestyles for you and your family. Thank you and good morning.